everyone this is dr sarla welcome to millet magic today we present to you the ancient method of cooking millet rice which was used by the tribals it also happens to be the best way to make millet rice well no surprises there let's hear a little about it from dr khader himself i just went to chatisgarh recently i was in a tribal village and they gave me kodo chawal cooked in bamboo basket it was so soft so tasty so wonderful and they have been doing this for ages thousands of years so tasty so wonderful i thought i should share the method with all of you enjoy siridhanya with this wonderful old ancient method of cooking so here's what you will need to make beautiful millet rice in this method first off you will require a bamboo basket make sure that it is closely woven and that there are no huge gaps between the strands you can select the size of the basket depending on the number of people for whom you will be preparing millet rice You will also need an earthen pot. The mouth of the pot should be such that the basket correctly fits into it. If you do not get a basket of the appropriate size, you can use two sticks in this way to support the basket on the earthen pot. And you need millet rice. Today I am using 1 cup of kodo millet. Please ensure that your millets are unpolished you will not get the full benefits of using millets if you are using polished variety unpolished kodo millet looks reddish pink in color while the polished one would look completely white now as usual the first step while preparing anything with millets is to soak soak 1 cup of millet with 2 cups of water for a good 6 to 8 hours now transfer the soaked millet into the bamboo basket placed over the earthen pot all the water which was used for soaking the millet seeps through the holes in the basket and collects in the earthen pot while the millet remains in the bamboo basket now place the pot as such on the stove and switch on the flame keep the flame on high at the stage cover with a lid and allow the millet to steam inside the basket for about 15 minutes you can see here how the water in the pot has turned to steam and passes through the gaps of the basket to cook the rice if you're making a large quantity of rice using a spoon gently mix the rice once so that the bottom layers come to the top and the top layer goes to the bottom it's now time to lift the basket and turn it over to put all the steamed rice into the remaining water at this stage turn down the flame to sim with a very light hand mix everything gently once Cover with a lid and allow to cook for three to four minutes. When you see that all the water is drying up, add in another three fourth to one cup of warm water. Again, cover with a lid and allow to cook on sim for a final three to four minutes. You can now see how the rice is cooked perfectly. switch off the flame if you intend to use this rice to make pulao chitrana etc you can fluff it up using a fork you can then cover the pot place some weight on it and allow it to rest for about 5 minutes perfectly cooked millet rice is ready the millet rice is soft fluffy and tastier when made this way You can use the millet rice prepared in this way to make millet puliyogre, millet mango rice, millet tawa pulao, 
मिलेट पुदीना राइस मिलेट मटर पुलाव और मिलेट सेशवान फ्राइड राइस और जस्ट ईट इट एज सच विथ दाल सांबर और रसम Do check out the description box below for links to all these recipes. It may initially seem that you have to put in extra efforts to make millet rice this way, but it's actually very easy and totally worth it. The total process takes less than half an hour and your perfectly cooked millet rice will be ready even before you finish cooking your sambar, dal or vegetable. Millet rice made in this way does not become too dry even after it cools down so it's best to make millet rice in this way if you're planning to carry it in your lunch box even those people who are fussy and reluctant to switch over to millet rice and change their white rice eating habits are more likely to do so when millet rice is cooked perfectly in this way If you already enjoy millet food you will love it even more We'll be back with many more tasty and interesting millet recipes Until then happy cooking